Nearly 400 million years ago, a plant we now call Pertica quadrifera grew and died in a marsh near an active volcano in what is today Baxter State Park. The plant was from a time before plants had leaves. Today, Pertica is Maine's state fossil. It was first discovered here, and these fossils have only been found in two other places on the planet. Today is National Fossil Day, and an archaeological dig from about 30 years ago actually prevented a fossil from forming. Fossils are made when minerals replace organic materials like bones. This was the excavation of a real skeleton, a really old skeleton. News Center Maine's Cheryl Doyle reports on the discovery of a woolly mammoth in a Scarborough Marsh. In 1959, two men dug out the space for a pond in Scarborough. In the process, they pulled up this tusk. At the time, neither knew they were holding the key to an ancient past, Maine's only woolly mammoth remains to date. It probably is a little bit older than 12,000 years. Yeah. Scientist Gary Hoyle and others dug for years in this spot to come up with more pieces of the mammoth. They finished three years ago, and now they have pieced together parts of the animal's story. It was a female, which they have affectionately dubbed Harry It. This tusk, which is on display at the Maine State Museum, was the major source of information for Hoyle. Through it, he and other professionals were able to determine why Harry It may have died. We have noticed a, a, a loss in nitrogen in the animal, and, uh, and that, uh, that kind of indicates that uh, that the animal uh, is un uh, under nutritional stress. Harriet was the victim of her changing environment. Her normally lush grasses were turning into less nutritious shrubs. This possibly made her weak, maybe too weak to fight off predators. They think she died when she was 30 to 35 years old. The body, uh, apparently, at least a portion of the body, floated down an ancient river in the proto Saco River. Some of her ivory is still being analyzed. Once that's finished, scientists will be able to give more specifics about Harry It's life, like how many children she may have left behind, how and where she traveled through the seasons. I foresee that there will be uh, research many years to come on, on this particular mammoth. Hoyle says mammoths generally traveled in herds, and as a result, he's hoping someday he'll be able to find another one not too far away from where Harriet was resting. That was Cheryl Doyle reporting in 1997. So we want to talk a little bit more about the discovery of the mammoth because it's a weird piece of Maine history. When the tusk was discovered in 1956, everyone assumed it was an elephant's tusk. And not just any elephant, they thought it was the tusk of an elephant named Old Bet. Old Bet is believed to be the second elephant ever brought to the New World and was part of a circus act. That is, until it was shot and killed by a manor in Alfred in the year 1816. That man was convicted of the killing, but no one is clear on what his motivation was.